Hello everyone, this is our Sterin BL526-108 optical power meter fiber tester. We will be showing you what comes with the unit and how to operate the unit. Each box includes the optical power meter, an AC charging adapter, FC interchangeable adapters, which is already on the unit, an LC, SC, and SD interchangeable adapters, a carrying case with strap, a cleaning cloth, a USB data cable, management software CD, and user manual. Press and hold the power button for 3 seconds until the home display appears. Press the backlight button to turn the backlight on and off. The auto power off feature is enabled when the meter is turned on, which is shown on the lower left corner of the screen. To disable the auto power off feature, Press and hold the backlight button for 3 seconds. This optical power meter has 6 pre-calibrated common wavelengths. 1310 nanometer, 1490 nanometer, 1550 nanometer, 1625 nanometer, 850 nanometer, and 1300 nanometer. Select a wavelength by pressing the lambda button until the desired wavelength is displayed on the LCD screen. In this case, we will use 1310 nanometer for testing. Below the wavelengths are absolute optical power measurements in dBm and watts. To test the fiber cable, we will use the laser light source as a means to measure the optical power going through the FC fiber cable. First, turn on the laser light source and make sure the wavelength selected matches the wavelength on the optical power meter. Then connect a fiber patch cable from the laser light source to the optical power meter. Verify that the power measurement on the optical power meter meets your power level from the source. In this case, our laser light source outputs around negative 3.27 dBm, which is equivalent to 470 microwatts. The optical power meter unit also has a test tones detection feature. This will inform the user if the source is outputting 270 Hz, 1 kHz, 2 kHz, or 330 Hz test tones. Press and hold the lambda button for 3 seconds to activate auto mode. Using the laser light source and pressing the mode button, you can change the test tones which will show up on the optical power meter, such as 270Hz, 1KHz, 2KHz, or 330Hz. To deactivate auto mode, press and hold the lambda button for 3 seconds. Also make sure the wavelengths are matching. Next, let's reference the value of the light source at 0 dB. You can set the reference value to 0 dB by pressing the reference button. Now we can plug in the fiber jumper cable under test by connecting one side to the adapter and the other side to the optical power meter. The optical power meter reads as 0.00 dB insertion loss which is within tolerance of the fiber cable. This unit also features a visual fault locator function. This is used to check the 650 nanometer light source going through the cable. Press the up button to output a continuous light source. Press the up button again to output a pulse light source and then press the up button once more to turn the light source off. To save and browse each recording, you press the left button to get into the record saving interface. Press the left button again to save the record and return to test state. If you press the right button, you enter the record browsing interface. Press the left and right buttons to browse through the records. To delete a record, press the lambda button. While in storage or browsing interface, press the power button shortly to exit the interface. To turn the meter off, simply press the power button 
once while in test state. This concludes our training video on the optical power meter. We hope you found this short video helpful.